what's up it's a whole week of intensity so stay tuned for what's coming and it's time to get to work now but first samples samples I guess 2021 mm-hmm Here's a new addition, the Muscle Tee hoodie. Um, might have to fix this a little bit. Uh, but other than that, it's gonna look dope. So my assistant today, Raquel, uh, just learning what she does for her line. Um, hi, Raquel. Hello. And that's what she's doing for her client. Uh, so this whole week, I'm gonna spend a lot of time here because I wanna learn the entire production aspect of things. Uh so I'm gonna spend uh, most of the week here uh, to understand exactly how everything works from sewing and grading, from the texture to the fabric. Uh, I think that's the only way for you to actually learn how to design uh, clothing properly. So tomorrow we'll do a little swirl on this, the entire operation. Okay, 9.39, I'm starving. Uh, we're making some rice. And sticking to the lean ground turkey, I just have a ton of it. And these are the things that I use, some uh, pepper, salt, uh, turmeric, and paprika, and the cooking oil that has no calories. Uh, in order to be successful for fat loss, you wanna stick to the same foods most of the time, just because you will be accurate and you're gonna be able to nail your macros every single time. The more variety of food you have, the harder it is to be accurate. So you got to stick to what works. This worked for me last time, so I will continue to do the same thing. Okay, it's a new day. Um, super late. I probably woke up like at 11, but uh, it'll be a good day today for sure. I'm trying to get an ink for my printer now so I can start shipping some stuff out. <laughs> Stay tuned designing. As we're learning the process here. That's what that looks like. This is going to be the money maker on the first sample, so yeah. I honestly regret waking up late now, um, but we got a lot of things accomplished today, obviously starting a woman's line from scratch that's gonna be super super hard but so that's the big surprise i guess down the road uh so whenever it's ready it's ready and also um moving forward with the men's stuff all right we're here with the crew homie man we're going hiking you know that right bro <laughs> <laughs> it's, you got all the stuff here look at that ready at Griffin Park, ready to work. So we'll get some pictures, some videos, some great lighting. Thanks, bro. Byron, you see your camera? What's here? Oh, okay. I was like, this is a drone. What's this? Yeah, this is dope. Yeah, put the drone in there. Let me see if we can do this too, so I can cope. Yeah, I, that actually would be perfect right here. I'll hold it behind you from yeah. the, where you're holding the camera, and then it'll reflect from the outside. Give it to Byron up there to take one from that high. Like that angle would be so you get like all the railing and everything. Oh, you mean like a photo? Yeah. Right? I guess so we're out here in Griffith Park we're filming as you can see Andy's running that drone then we're gonna have Robert and Colby so, like they're running they're mm -hmm. racing uh, trying to get to feel some sunlight today uh, so yeah this is fun this is what actually we love doing so look at them look at them look at that Oh yeah, you did it all reverse. Yeah. Yeah. It's easier yeah. like that, huh? So now oh, yeah, because then you got to do it one more time. Let's see it again. Oh, oh snap! Oh, 
Yeah. Let me see how it. How does it look above us? That's what I'm saying. Like come like right above. There? Us. Yeah. And then how like, does it look right there? We're like, banging out. Look, oh, like, look, we're banging point. out already. So news on the gym, uh, the deal unfortunately didn't happen and it's nobody's fault. I mean, we wanted a, one, one specific condition and that's the one that couldn't work with us at the end of the day. I mean, it's business and gym during COVID is technically closed. It, it's just it just very, very difficult because of the uncertainty. It's not saying it won't happen in the future, but uh, for today, there won't be any more negotiations, um, but we got to keep moving forward but I don't like to burn bridges. Um, so I am assisting the owner setting up an outside gym for now. Oh yeah. Got ourselves a gym back. It's crazy, fashion district is completely dead. Um, I don't know what am I doing in this business, but we could get some ideas, uh, get some stuff going today. I would have never thought I'd be doing this myself. Eagle merchandise. So I don't call this healthy eating anymore. I call it uh, proper nutrition, uh, knowing your number, eating clean, uh, because it, it, it really takes to learn the process to get to that 10% body fat for a guy, maybe 20% for girls. So. And not just knowing your calories, but also your nutrients inside. Uh, if you take maybe six months to a year, you will master this, but not a problem. And you will be super happy with your body at that point. Mmm, look at that chicken breast coming along. Boom. So now we're busting 12 ounces of chicken breast, uh, spring mix with cottage cheese and that. If you haven't tried that, I highly suggest you do. And maybe 200 grams of rice. This is what's up. This is what's up. Best part of the day. What's up, buddy? Mm -hmm. Sneak peek, because we have some cool stuff coming up pretty soon. So we're taking some of this equipment out there, so. Today we are with uh, Roberto and Matt. Hello. Hello. We're gonna enjoy some pokey here at West Hollywood. Talk some cool stuff. Yeah, that's right. Look at this. Bam. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Juggle lantern. What we get? What we get? Out of sixteen, pick a number. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You count it. Reloading at this point. Look at that. <laughs> he just jumped that thing. <laughs> ah. So now I'm here and taking the rings. Uh, we're going to be able to do some filming for the nonprofit. Uh, and it's gonna be very exciting but if anything i can say between yesterday and today we got reached out by ego minded mentality people and they went in they love the culture i didn't get that going but i got about three guys i met in the past few days it's amazing how people just are believing on this what are you doing hmm? There you go. Like that. Okay, done with the uh, fashion world. But this whole week was about creating like a whole outfit. So it just looked good. So pretty successful. Oh yeah, it never gets old. So we're helping here, Ruth, uh, with Delmi Pupusas. 
Tell us what we have today here. So today we have our new um, jalapeno and cheese pupus. This is grilled jalapenos and cheese. Mm -hmm. We also have our jalapeno poppers, actually with some cream cheese inside, drizzled with some ranch dressing and some buffalo sauce. And we wow. have some cauliflower um, wings here. Getting meaner and meaner again. Uh, photo shoot now with uh, Mr. Matt. You've probably seen this guy 20 times already. Where is my video. latte? Oh my god. Freaking, where is my drink? Early on this week, I said that the deal with the gym didn't happen. They tried to purchase it, but the number just didn't make sense, unfortunately. It is what it is, right? It's just business. Now, I did keep a good relationship with the owner, and I told him I can help him doing the setup on the outside. Uh, the gym has a parking lot, you can do it. And we did that, and then guess what? The owner came back at me, can you manage the place? Because you can do it, blah, 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 right? And I said, nope, like, I don't want to manage this place. It, it takes away my energy, my time, my concentration, especially for leaner and meaner. And I said, if I do though, it has to be my conditions, it needs to be my way. And guess what? I got all my conditions and I'm getting it my way. So technically, I run the gym and everything goes through me now. Crazy week. I think I had that pre-workout a little too late. Oops. You know what? But it's a good time to reflect on this week. I believe it was super productive. And I realized a few things. And one is if you put your energies and time on the right activities you will accomplish a lot of things in a short period of time. And time is valuable as long as you know how to manage it. Now, I always say it's God first. Uh, he takes away the stress and you will make a lot better decisions than if you don't have them. And July sucked. I got stressed out. I was overwhelmed. Everybody told me I didn't feel like myself. And, you know, I'm going to use that as a lesson, not to rely on myself. And those rough times can make you stronger. If you start something, you better finish it. That's just the ego mentality way. So two more days of full activities. We'll see how it goes. So we'll move it on. Hands down. This was the biggest pain in the butt. Actually, take had to take this out. That out, that out. You could imagine. But, uh, we're here with um, our friend Viet, and we're gonna talk about the menu and the kitchen stuff. So let's get this some real business. We got this nasty tan. It was hot out there today, Saturday night. And it might seem like I'm not doing much, but actually we got four things going on. Um, one is doing a lot of picture editing. Uh, number two, I need to create an email so I can blast it to all the gym members that I'm going to be doing the operation in the outside. And number three, um, I'm rebuilding the website for Raquel, my manufacturer for her brand. That's fun, but it's a lot of work. And number four is that in for the meal prep business and it's most likely be teaming up uh, with this restaurant that I'm creating a menu where it just breaks down your macros like 400, 500, 600 it, it, guys and girls. It's going to be a long night, but I will tell you, th this sounds fun, but this is lonely. This is lonely. This is hard. And every day I wake up. It's uncomfortable. It's not easy. It's not for everybody. You know, you trade your time for money or you trade your time for value. We need both people, essentially. I try to ask myself, why, why do I do this? Why can't I just have a normal life? Like, you know, I used to be that guy. I used to just, you know, work hard, then enjoy the weekend with friends. 
spend money, save money for a vacation, and do it all over again. I promised myself I wasn't going to be that guy anymore. Also comes from experience. I've been married. I've been single. I've been in a relationship. I've been happy. I've been miserable. I've been a good guy. And I've been a bad guy. All I know is that I wanted to change my life and start to take action. And now that became a passion to share that with other people. Now, one of the things I love is helping people lose weight. Um, this really changes your life. My infamous ID picture, you know, to go from this guy right here to this guy right here. Man, you have no idea how good that feels. And if I could help someone get like that, it's an amazing feeling. You just can't beat it. Yes, and it's your training. People don't know how to train. People don't know how to eat properly. And then creating the nice, perfect clothing, it's a complement to that lifestyle. Plus, uh, we have you know our production team, so just learning a bunch of set of skills. And I think at this point, I proved myself and I'm really happy who are having my team and as long as you have the same vision, you will be part of the family. I'm a nobody. I think um, all of us have different set of skills and we can learn from each other. I think that's where I'm here to uh, just kind of guide my family to um, meet their goals. There's way more to it. Um, you gotta finish what you start. And I feel like I just started. You know, everybody says do what you love. That'd be, that's like the dream, right? Well, I guess my goal will be is presenting people the lifestyle that changed me. And I could live off of that app. Sick. I'm here to show you the good and the bad. It ain't easy. It's not comfortable. And unless you embrace that, it's you're just gonna stay the same. I give time to my family, right? So my literally family and the team, they get all my attention. But everybody else, I mean, unfortunately, is a little bit more difficult for me to give time to. And just doing that, it allowed me to become this other person. Now I think different, I wake up different, I speak differently. Because I had nobody there to judge me, no one to tell me I can or can't. I don't have to deal with that anymore. It got me far. It's got me this far. And I can't wait for what's next. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. What opportunity, what good thing or bad thing happens. Eh. You keep fighting, you keep pushing. If you believe in something, you keep doing it. It's not going to be perfect. Just because you work hard doesn't mean things will be perfect. It's not realistic. What it teaches you lessons you might be good at two or three things but like i think if you use the same focus on getting good at the things that you're bad at it would change you and it's not about from like attitude from personality uh the way you treat people i think it completely changes you keep developing a new set of skills every single time and keep building relationships just keep doing that all across that's what you will leverage, okay? Play the game. If you didn't invent the game, play the game and prove yourself and you win. You're gonna win every single time. Play the patient game, study the game, stay quiet, don't think you're smarter than anybody. If you do all these things, I think they just all come into play. People respect that. People respect people who wanna learn. People respect people who are humble enough to say, you know what? I don't know, but I want to learn how. If you say you want to learn how to do something, somebody's going to be there to teach you. Just take it day by day. Got to take this day by day, but get your stuff done. Always get your stuff done. Always keep pushing. Always keep striving. Always and always have faith in God and a faith that you can accomplish anything you can. I didn't, not inheriting a penny. Everything I've done is just straight out of hard work. 
you know, for making minimum wage, learning from trial and error. It's, it didn't happen overnight. There's nothing special. Not, I can't say nothing I've done has been easy. Nothing was like, here, not one single thing, not one single penny. One good attitude, I think. That's what starts to get you there, little by little. That's all I gotta say. We're back at the barn um, because now we're gonna film the advanced girls. We're doing some uh, filming and some photographies here now. Right. <laughs> that is so legit. Okay, we're working on some stuff, but we're also having this um, readable. It's incredible, yo. So this week is coming to an end. Uh, I came to the gym uh, to do some leg workout and some low intensity cardio. I didn't lose a pound the entire week. I got stuck, so that means I have to modify my cardio, increase it longer, or maybe reduce my calories. So that's how you track that essentially. A lot this week, and now next week is gonna be even more challenging, but uh, get back to work, the regular schedule, plus everything else. But the advantage now is that we have a system in place. I already have my team. It's just about how to, uh, guide them how they need to do their responsibility. So yeah, one last thing, go home, do some stuff, but that should wrap it up for the week. So I'm dead. It was a long week. Um, there was a lot of other things that I didn't get to show. Is that you can multitask. Uh, you can do many projects at the same time, but it's very difficult. You have to know how to coordinate your time uh, you can't uh, rush things um, and you can't put too much pressure on yourself otherwise it doesn't work and that's what happened last month i was trying to do way too many things and i crashed i uh, crashed and burned to be honest but now um realizing you can it's just following a system uh give the people that are there to help you give them their task because they're probably going to be better than you at doing those things. So, and there's a lot more cool things coming up. I'm glad this video three kind of gives you a better idea of what's going on. Of how, you know, we're starting this thing. Is it going to succeed? I mean, I hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. But never quit anything that you do. The economy sucks. The world sucks right now. I started thinking that way, then I'll be just miserable because it's just totally out of my control. I just need to, you know, remind myself everything I've accomplished is through God and it really makes you fearless. And unless, uh, you know, people who have been successful, they know what I'm talking about. Uh, you just got to go and get it. You got to go and do it yourself. And if you're kind of successful financially and you're very afraid of doing things, it's 99% that your parents have money, you inherited something. Because other than that, man, it ain't easy out there. It ain't easy to go get it. If I do a video for, it should be really, really, really fun. It should be a lot of crazy updates. So we'll see what happens on September.